And so there's certain things that I want to address. You know what? People run their mouths and they talk a lot of stuff with their podcasts and all of this other stuff. Yeah, I got a television show, but I got a podcast, too. And all I'm going to say is it's black on black. And, and, and you know what? I don't even know what white folks need to be listening with the stuff that I'm going to say. I stand by what I said last week, but I only bring up that subject to say this. This ain't the necessary platform to go where I'm going to go. Y'all just wait. I'm going to respond. No mercy with Stephen A, my podcast. That's all I wanted to say. And I'm going to touch on that and then some. That's all. See y'all soon. Okay. I got a lot to say. Okay. okay. I hear all of y'all. I hear y'all. All right. So after Stephen A. Smith came out recently and defended Jerry Jones, he faced a lot of backlash. I did a video on that a couple of days ago. Y'all should go check it out. I have the link to that in the description box. One of many who came out and spoke out against Stephen A. Smith was comedian Corey Holcomb. This is what comedian Corey Holcomb had to say about Stephen A. Smith on his podcast, Defender Jerry Jones. Here's the video. I want America to know this about Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith has a very unique job. He is the voice of the racist corporate world at ESPN. They pay him well to say and speak in the racist voice. That's why he laughs at us. Nothing happens to Stephen A. Smith when he disrespects black people. He does not get in trouble for this. Have you noticed this? This is the same people that wanted Kyrie to apologize who employ Stephen A. Smith. I don't think there's never been a time in history where a man can say so much negative things about black people and take up for people like Jerry Jones and there is no repercussions for what he do. This Stephen A. Smith's presence in the world is proof as black people we don't really have a militia or people who ride for us. I bet Stephen A. Smith has not been approached about anything he's done to discredit and shame black people <clears throat> as he does such a well job of on ESPN because ESPN is egging him on to do it. Charles Barkley is being egged on to talk about black people. He married somebody white and he bragged on his daughter marrying somebody white. I'm not saying just because he married somebody white, he's a racist, but Charles Barkley is a self-hating motherfucker. Shaq has proven himself to be someone who has bought into this corporate game where they have made sure Shaq understands you have to say and discredit and bring encouraging thoughts about certain black people on television. They won't get fired for this. This is how they do. That's why they do it. Do th they're, they're Caucasian balls tell them, listen, we need you to talk about Kyrie. We need you to take up for Jerry Jones. He was young at the time. Okay, boss, I'm going to go say something good. Don't worry about it. I'm going to put it together. And he went on there and he took up for Jerry Jones. We all can, we can look at Jerry Jones. We know when Jerry Jones had a problem with his players kneeling and he said that. He threatened them not to kneel. You know what I'm saying? That's a racist. That's a racist. And people are scared to call them for who they are because, you know what I'm saying? There's repercussions for that. This is the thing about bitch-ass Stephen A. Stephen A wants to be accepted by black people. See, he got money from ESPN, but he wants to floss around us. We should never have any type of party, gathering, hangout spot, where we are around a Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith should be uncomfortable around black people because he talks about black people. Wait, listen, man, I ain't seen nothing wrong with Kaepernick or Kyrie where they need to get talked about the way he talked about them. But Jerry Jones, here's a man in a mob that's a mob that Jerry Jones was standing in, and he took up for him. All right, guys, before I highlight the next clip, be sure to smack that thumbs up button. Let's try to aim for another 500 to 1,000 plus likes. That really helps my YouTube channel grow.
hit that subscribe button. YouTube is saying only 96% of y'all are watching my videos, but y'all are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 95,000 subs. Salute. Let's get back into this video. Okay, so that's what comedian Corey Holcomb had to say about Stephen A. Smith. Salute to Z Banger ENT. Okay, so Stephen A. Smith responded to the backlash on first take. And in my opinion, he responded to Corey Holcomb. And the reason why I think he responded to Corey Holcomb because Stephen A. Smith and Corey Holcomb has had issues and run-ins in the past. So with that being said, let's get into this clip. Here's what Stephen A. Smith said on first take. Here's a video. Serious note. You know, last week I brought up the stuff about Jerry Jones mm -hmm. and Jerry Jones being a 14-year-old or 15-year-old, depending on which report you believe in, how he was in North Little Rock High School. The picture. Yeah, the picture, right? And there have been a lot of people that have been misconstruing my message, talking okay. about I'm coming to Jerry Jones' defense. What was he doing there, Stephen A? What I said was it's a still picture of a 14-year-old from 66 years ago. I stand by what I said last week, but I only bring up that subject to say this. This ain't the necessary platform to go where I'm going to go in terms of some black folks in our community talking smack. And so there's certain things that I want to address. You know what? People run their mouths and they talk a lot of stuff with their podcasts and all of this other stuff. Yeah, I got a television show, but I got a podcast too. And I'm going to address this on my Wednesday podcast. And all I'm going to say is it's black on black. And, and, and you know what? I don't even know what white folks need to be listening with the stuff that I'm going to say. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure y'all come on down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that subscribe button as well on your way out. And don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. That really helps these videos grow and get pushed out to the algorithm. I appreciate y'all, man. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Salute, and we out. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below.